Wow. Ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Tyson Fury now saying that he's fighting two times a year and one of them could be Deontay Wilder. After previously telling the world that he would never fight Deontay Wilder. Hmm. We're going to talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Y'all know what to do. Smash the like button. Hit the bell notification icon. First, let's play these Tyson Fury clips. Whoever it is, I don't really care. As long as I get um, what I'm due, two fights this year. Yeah. So, so. Does that, in some in some aspect, does that concern you at all? Because you're, you're wanting to be active and you've got a contract with a top rank. They've got to get you out this year. Yeah, so twice this year. Is it going to get to a point where you go, listen, get, get this done or we need to start looking at plan B, I need to get out? I'm going to be fighting twice this year, so no matter who it is, I'll fight twice. If it doesn't happen, is there anyone else you bothered fighting or you'd say, chuck, it, chuck him at me, let's go for it? Anybody really. Wilder, Wilder Trilogy, that's probably the next best fight out there. Mm -hmm. uh, who else is there? I have the trilogy with him. Is that something that, do you want to go into a trilogy with him or do you think because of the things he said? I'm not, uh, I'm not bothered, you know, it's all sticks and stones. I've said some stuff in my life, yeah. you know. Everyone's said stuff, everyone's done stuff, so I'm not really too interested in what he's got to say. It's, it's, it's the second best fight out there for me right now, yeah. financially and for the size of it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no... So you guys heard it for yourself. Tyson Fury is claiming now that Wilder fight is potentially on the table. Now, this is pretty shocking if you didn't believe in Ego Stradamus. But I predicted this. I told you Ego Stradamus strikes again per usual. Tyson Fury is a liar. Tyson Fury is always contradicting himself. And no matter how old media tries to spin it, these are the facts. Tyson Fury previously said under no circumstance would he ever fight Deontay Wilder again. First, he, you know, it, it, it's so much, it is so intricate, you have to really pay attention. So I advise you guys to smash the like button on the channel and um, subscribe for the latest and greatest because there's a lot of stuff going on and I cover all the the major issues in boxing so it's a great way to you know just everything centrally located it's like walmart it's a one-stop shop where you get all your boxing info so i've talked about this tyson fury he said he had to fight he first of all he did an interview he says oh shout out i'm just getting off the phone with daniel kennehan who is allegedly a notorious gangster in, from ireland and he said he just got off the phone with Daniel Kinahan. He has to smash Wilder to bits. And then they've already agreed, him and Anthony Joshua, to a two-fight deal. Right? Then fast forward to the future. They're saying that, oh, contracts for Joshua and Fury should be signed. And they've been saying that since pretty much that point. So it's like either you had a two-fight deal or you don't have a two-fight deal. Which one is it? How do you how does Tyson Fury get away with saying I have a two fight deal, I have to fight Wilder and then I have a two fight deal with Joshua to now them saying they don't know if the Joshua Fury fight will happen next. You know, it's just all lies. And I tried to warn you guys and people didn't want to realize the cap. But Ego Stradama strikes again. Um, another issue is in that same video where he says, I'm just getting off the phone with Daniel Kinahan, right? Let me actually play that clip too, so you guys get the full spectrum. Hello there. I'm just after getting off the phone with Daniel Kinahan. Uh, he just informed me that the biggest fight in British boxing history has just been agreed. Get up there, my boy! Uh, big shout out, Dan. He got this done. Um, literally over the line. Two fight deal. Uh, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua um, next year. One problem, I've just got to smash Deontay Wilder's face right in, in the next fight. Um, and then we go into the Joshua fight next year. So there we are. The Gypsy King versus AJ is on for next year. But there is a hurdle in the road called the Bronze Bomber, a.k.a. the Knockout King. And I will get on to him and knock him spark out. And then we got on to the big fight. So big thank you, Dan, for getting this deal over the line. All the best. God bless you all. See you soon. Peace out. 
So that was from June of last year where Tyson Fury declared that he had to fight and smash Wilder to bits. And then he's um, fighting two fights with Joshua. Now they're saying they don't know if Joshua will happen. Alexander Usyk, his promoter, K2 Promotions promoter, was talking about a Usyk fight with Joe Joyce. And he says he doubts that happens because he doubts that Joshua Fury happens. So Joshua will probably have to fight his mandatory, which is Usyk. So this whole thing is FUBAR. And it's slowly but surely uh, falling apart for old media and Tyson Fury and everybody involved. In addition, check my other video. Canelo Alvarez, Billy Joe Saunders was not picked up by Sky Sports. And I believe it's because of the backlash because of the Kenahan involvement. Billy Joe Saunders just recent Tyson Fury's buddy, fellow gypsy. Billy Joe Saunders just recently declared that he is working with Daniel Kinahan and Kinahan's put together all his fights. Now, conveniently, Sky Sports wants no parts of a Canelo fight. He's supposed to be the face of boxing. And Billy Joe Saunders is a British fighter. So there's so many different snowball things happening all at once. And the clip I just played of Tyson Fury, back to that, the clip I just played of Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury says, I have to smash Wilder to bits. Then months after that clip debuted on the internet, and he posted it and he now deleted that clip, but I still have it and you can still find it on the internet. He says the Wilder contract has expired because Wilder was taking too long. He said Wilder had an injury and he kept moving the dates about. So he says, F Wilder, we don't have to fight. Then he said, after saying the rematch clause had expired because of Wilder, he didn't say anything about the global pandemic that we're in, right? But he says Wilder kept moving the dates around. And Bob Arum is on record saying that the global pandemic was the reason for the rapid date switches. Despite all that, Fury blamed Wilder, said he's moving on. He says the rematch clause expired. Then he switched his, his excuse when Wilder came out with a video accusing him of a tampered glove and saying, oh my God, WBC champion of the world, I do believe you had something in your glove. Your glove was manipulated, <laughs> right? And then Fury started saying, oh, I'll never fight Wilder because he disrespected me. So you went from Wilder's moving the dates around and you got to fight to now I'm not fighting Wilder because um, he, he said something mean to me or accused me of cheating, which a lot of people believe is true and still hasn't been proven wrong. And then he said he's fighting December 5th. You see how much stuff there is? He said he's fighting December 5th. And then he, the December 5th started encroaching. He said, I'm not fighting December 5th. You know, so that was a lie too. It's just like, it doesn't stop. And after previously blaming Wilder, not the pandemic, um, after Tyson Fury's team said that Wilder and his team had no legal recourse, but now we know they're in arbitration or mediation process, which is a legal and legally binding process which could result in a lawsuit, you know, if one of the parties does not agree. Tyson Fury also in that clip that I played at the beginning admits there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. And now conveniently, he's saying Wilder is back on the table after previously saying Wilder would never get a shot. But before that saying he had to get through Wilder to get Joshua Fury. And then somewhere along the lines, Fury said that the rematch clause with Wilder had expired and he's moving on and he's going straight to the Joshua Fury. Now the reality is setting in. This is not gypsy world or, or whatever world Tyson Fury thinks he lives in. This is the real world. There are legally binding contracts. There are deals with networks, you know, Fox and ESPN. You can't just move about freely. This is not the UK. You know what I'm saying? This is not the UK where you could just move about, do whatever you want, say whatever you want with no ramifications, right? So this is a, a very damaging and detrimental blow to Tyson Fury and his team because they say Wilder has no legal recourse, then he's in arbitration mediation, legal recourse. They say Wilder kept moving the dates and the rematch clause has expired as a result, but you're still in arbitration and now you're saying you, you may have to fight Wilder. And a lot of things are going on behind the scenes. This is a mess. Good luck to old media trying to clean it up. 
it, it looks like everything is is slowly but surely crumbling which is what ego stradamus predicted smash the like button also get tubebuddy tubebuddy is a browser extension that i use on the daily when i upload videos like this and it can help you too i started off with zero subscribers just like everybody else now we've scaled over 200,000. it's definitely doable tubebuddy is a resource that i personally use and use daily and you can too just click that link drop your thoughts in the comment section we work are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.